there are several preferences around type and composition in InDesign. You can choose to enable or disable typographer's quotes, which are the curly quotes. Those will be automatic by default. We can also change some of our selection options here. You may choose to turn on drag and drop text editing in your layout view. Now, normally we're working with InDesign documents in a WYSIWYG fashion. What you see is what you get. And that's the layout view. There's also a story editor, and that allows us to look only at the text by itself. And in that mode, you can drag and drop text from one place to another, like you might do in, say, Microsoft Word. You can enable that function here by turning on Enable in Layout View. InDesign also has a function where it will add or remove pages based on text that flows in when we place text. Normally, when it adds pages, they will stay there even if they become empty due to editing. If you enable this checkbox here, that will delete those empty pages. You can adjust your superscript and subscript sizes here. Most people tend to leave these alone. Under the composition preference, we can choose to highlight substituted fonts, for instance. This is on by default. This is actually very handy because it does tell us when we have text that has been substituted inside of InDesign. You can also highlight other composition rules by enabling any of those check marks there. Lastly, you can set some text wrap behaviors by enabling these checkboxes here. I'll leave them to their default settings for now.